Good evening and welcome to, as far as I know, the first ever Carmichael White County Junior High School virtual back to school night. Uh, I'm Principal Bart King and uh, first of all, I just wanna welcome um, all of our new seventh graders and their parents and uh, just want to tell you how excited we are for you to be here. Uh, we wanna take this opportunity to really just hopefully ease your mind um, we know that each school year, at the beginning of the school year, there's usually um, some, some nerves uh, involved when you anticipate the coming of a new school year, not just for parents and students, but also for us as educators. Um, but we want you, to, we want you uh, parents and you students to at least have an idea of what you can expect uh, when you walk through the doors on Thursday morning. So. What I want you to know first and foremost is that we have changed a few things and this is probably the most important thing for parents to know. Number one, if you are not a bus rider, so you walk to school or you are you're dropped off by your parents, you can only enter as a seventh and eighth grader, you can only enter at one location at the junior senior high and that is the main street entrance to McDougal Evers Gymnasium. I will more than likely be out there at the doors um, welcoming students, um, but for those non-bus riders, that is the location you will come in. And then bus riders, your bus drivers um, will drop you off at the location in which you can enter the building. Once we get you there, parents, we want you to rest assured that we will take care of your students. We will have plenty of faculty and staff um, there to help direct them and where to go. And we, to my knowledge, at the junior high have never lost a student. Um, but if you have any concerns after viewing this video, any information that we leave out, um, we ask that you call our uh, junior high office and, and let us know what information um, we can get you and what you need. So um, one last thing, we want you to know, masks are a requirement at the uh, at all of the schools in the district, as I'm sure most of you are aware. But we do want you to know, uh, we encourage students to bring their own masks, uh, but we also want you to know we do have a welcoming gift, and that is your very own CWC um, face covering mask. So we can't wait to see everybody Thursday morning, and uh, we wish you guys the best school year. can go ahead and step out here because you're an eighth grader and you'll go up the stairs. Make sure you social distance, please. Next. Ninety-seven point seven. Do you have any of the symptoms that are listed on the symptoms checklist? Nope. Okay, then you can go up out this door and up the steps since you're an eighth grader as well. Make sure you social distance. This year, we're gonna have a grab and go breakfast. If you are a bus rider, you will enter through the doors and seventh grade will get their grab and go at that side and eighth grade will get their grab and go right here. Hey kids, we are so glad that you are back here at CWCJHS 
and we can't wait to see you. Another little tidbit of information is that if you are a bus rider, you will enter through this door, the small gym door. So we have some bus riders coming up right now. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. We're glad to have you here. I'm an eighth grader. Where do I go? You will go up the stairs on the far side of the gym, on the visitor side. Okay. You are a seventh grader, so you will go up and sit in the home side of the gym. Okay, so you. go on up and get comfortable. Hey, I'm Mr. Simmons. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the locker situation. We are going to make sure that the 7th and 8th graders are staggered in their lockers so that they are far apart from each other. They will be given a limited amount of time to go to the locker and a limited amount of time to be at their locker. I'm Cindy Francis and when students leave their classrooms um, after each class period, we're asking that they maintain their masks properly on their faces and that they will stay too wide to the right as they are going down the hall. If you notice, we do have lines down here to let students be reminded to get down the hall to their classes quickly. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Mason. Uh, I'm standing here with the bathroom in my background. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the bathrooms. Uh, it'll be a little bit different this year. Uh, basically, we'll just kind of limit the amount of people that go in there. And on the boys' side, that's good because usually there, there's too many in there anyway. So it's a good thing uh, to keep everybody safe and healthy. And, and then also we'll remind people of uh, good hand washing in there. We'll have some signs and stuff to remind people because that will be important as it always is. Uh, for good hand washing. So I look forward to seeing everybody the first day and uh, we'll see you then. Hi, I'm Mrs. Simon and students this year will be provided uh, with their own personalized water bottle that they can go to our hands-free water fountains and they can carry them into their classrooms as well. These will need to go home each day and need to be washed and brought back the next day. I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about PE. Uh, it'll look a little different this year. Students will not be dressing out and they will not be using the locker rooms. We'll be trying to go outside, weather permitting, as much as possible. If we are in the gym, we will be spaced out. So another way that faculty and staff can help keep students safe during lunchtime is dividing each grade level into two different groups. So while one group is eating lunch, the other group then will be at recess, and when it's time, uh, the two groups will swap. At recess, the kids will be able to be mask-free as long as they can stay a safe distance apart. While standing in line in the cafeteria, students will be six feet apart, standing on the circles while waiting in line for their tray. Once students have their trays, they are able to sit three at a table and remove their masks and enjoy their lunch. Hey Carmine White County students, we're really excited to see you this Thursday as you come back to school. But one thing that we're asking you guys to do is to help us out with social distancing. We're going to do our best to keep you guys six feet of, uh, apart from each other in the classrooms and in the cafeteria and in PE. But when it comes to recess and passing periods, we need you to help us and stay six feet away from other students. If you see yourself starting to get too close, just give each other some space. I know you guys can help us out with that and we're really looking forward to seeing it. In each classroom, students will have the opportunity to take mass breaks. Each teacher will have a designated area for those breaks. Carmine White County Junior High dismisses at 225 each day. In order to reduce crowding in the hallways, eighth graders will be dismissed first, followed by seventh graders. Eighth grade students will pack up at the end of seventh hour and take their belongings with them to eighth hour. At 227, 7th grade students will pack up after their 8th hour class and then dismiss. We need students to exit the building as quickly as possible. Students should not be hanging around or visiting with one another in the hallways. Students will exit the hallways using the north and back stairwells to go out to the buses. Okay. Students need to exit out the back door and go straight to their buses that they have been assigned to. Our riders must use both south stairwells to exit the building in the afternoon in front of the auditorium. Parents, when picking up your students, please park along Main Street and be conscious of other children who may be leaving middle. When we release from school, uh, you will come out the front doors. Please do not cross.
across the crosswalk without uh, a crossing guard there. What I would like for you to do is to stay on the sidewalk until I get all both lanes of traffic stopped. And then I will look back and motion for you to go ahead and come across. All students must cross the, cro the street at the crosswalk. And please keep your phones and your earbuds put away.